Today topic is classification of the heat exchanger. First, let's see what is meant by the heat exchanger. So heat exchanger means it is a device which is used for the transfer to heat from high temperature fluid to low temperature fluid with both the fluid flow in the same device. There are some examples of the heat exchanger. So examples are boiler, evaporator or cooler in refrigerator systems, water and air cooler or heaters, radiator of automobiles, oil coolers of heat engine, regenerator of gas turbine power plants. Now let's see the classification of the heat exchanger. So the heat exchangers are classified based on three criteria. So the first criterion is according to the flow arrangement of the fluid. Second, according to the heat transfer process. And third is according to the geometry of construction. So based on these three criteria heat exchangers are again classified. So, let's see the classification of heat exchanger based on this criterion. So, according to the flow arrangement of the fluid, there are mainly three types of heat exchangers. First is, parallel flow heat exchanger. Second, counterflow heat exchanger. And third is, Crossflow heat exchanger. Now let's see these three heat exchangers in detail. So, according to the flow arrangement of fluid, the first type of heat exchanger is parallel flow heat exchanger. In parallel flow heat exchanger, the hot and cold fluids enter together at one end, then flow parallel to each other in the same direction and leave together at the other end. This type of heat exchanger need a larger heat transfer area as compared to cross and counter flow heat exchanger. Now the next type of heat exchanger. Counter flow heat exchanger. In a counter flow heat exchanger, the hot and cold fluids enter together at the opposite end then flow parallel to each other but in the opposite direction and leave together at the opposite end. The counterflow arrangement is thermodynamically superior than any other flow arrangement of heat exchanger. Now the next type of heat exchanger is cross-flow heat exchanger. In the cross-flow heat exchanger, the hot and cold fluids flow in directions normal to each other. In this type of arrangement, mixing of either fluid stream may or may not occur, depending on the design. Now, let's see the classification of heat exchanger based on the next criteria. So, the next criteria is according to the heat transfer process. So, based on these criteria, heat exchanger classified mainly into three types. First is, mixer or direct contact type heat exchanger. Second is, recuperator or transfer type heat exchanger. And last is, regenerator or storage type heat exchanger. Now, let's see these heat exchangers in detail. So, according to the heat transfer process, the first type of heat exchanger is mixer or direct type heat exchanger. In this type of heat exchanger, the hot and cold fluids mix together and transfer heat by direct contact. Hence, there is a simultaneous mass transfer and heat transfer takes place. This type of heat exchanger is used 
where the mixing between the fluid is either desirable or harmless. Cooling tower, jet condenser, and open feed water heater are the example of direct contact type heat exchanger. Figure shows cooling tower, which is one of the type of direct contact type heat exchanger. Now let's see the second type of heat exchanger. Recuperator or transfer type heat exchanger. In this type of heat exchanger, heat is transferred between the two fluids through the metal surface between them. All parallel flow and counterflow heat exchanger are the examples of this type of heat exchanger. The figure shows counterflow double pipe heat exchanger. This is one of the type of transfer type heat exchanger. Now let's see the third type of heat exchanger. Regenerator or storage type heat exchanger. In this type of heat exchanger, hot and cold fluid alternatively flow on the same flow passage, which is called a matrix. Firstly, hot fluid flows over the matrix. Due to this matrix gets heated and it stored it in the form of thermal energy. Then, the cold fluid flow over the matrix. The matrix gives stored thermal energy to the cold fluid. As the matrix gains energy from hot fluid, and it losses heat to the cold fluid. Hence this type of heat exchanger is called a regenerator. Now, let's see the classification of heat exchanger based on the next criteria. So, the next criterion is according to the geometry of construction. So, based on these criteria, heat exchanger classified mainly into three types. First is plate type heat exchanger. Second is extended surface heat exchanger. And third is tubular heat exchanger. Now let's see these three heat exchangers in detail. So, according to the geometry of construction, the first type of heat exchanger is plate type heat exchanger. A plate type heat exchanger consists of a series of rectangular parallel plates held firmly together between head frames. The plates are having corrugated faces, which provides a high degree of turbulence even at low flow rates. It provided with inlet and outlet nozzle for fluids at the end. In this type of heat exchanger, hot fluid passes between alternate pairs of plates, which is then transferring heat to the cold fluid in the adjacent space. Plate type heat exchanger is very compact, hence it requires a very small flow space. It can easily dismantle and can be clean. It provides a large heat transfer area in a small volume. Now, let's see the second type of heat exchanger. Extended surface heat exchanger. In this type of heat exchanger, heat transfer area of tube or pipe is increased substantially by attaching the metal piece. It is called as fin or extended surface. This fin is attached to the outside of the tube. When the heat transfer coefficient of one of the process fluid is very low, as compared to other, then the overall heat transfer coefficient becomes less. So, to increase the heat transfer area, this type of heat exchanger is used. As the attached fin to pipe or tube increase the heat transfer area. There are two common types of fin or extended surface. First is longitudinal fins. In this fin, a long metal strips or channels are attached to the outside of pipe along the axis of tube. Hence, it is used when the direction of flow is the parallel to the axis of the tube. For low heat transfer coefficient fluids, this type of fins is used. Now the next type is transverse fin. In this fin, a long metal pieces are attached to the outside of the pipe at right angle to the axis of the tube. Hence, it is used when the direction of flow is across or right angle to the tube. 
This type of fins is used for cooling or heating of large quantities of gases. Now let's see. Third type of heat exchanger is tubular heat exchanger. There are mainly two types of the tubular heat exchanger. First is double type heat exchanger. Second is shell and tube heat exchanger. Now let's see these two heat exchangers in detail. So, the first type of tubular heat exchanger is double pipe heat exchanger. The double pipe heat exchanger consists of concentric pipes, return head, return bend, connecting T's, such that two lengths of inner pipe are connected by return bend. This is called as hairpin. Hence, in this type of heat exchanger, one of the fluid flow through the inside pipe and the other fluid flows through the annular space created between two concentric pipes, either in concurrent or counter-current fashion. Double pipe heat exchanger can be easily assembled in. It can used when heat transfer area required a relatively small. Now, the second type of tubular heat exchanger is shell and tube heat exchanger. The shell and tube heat exchanger consists of parallel tubes, shell, baffle, and front and rear head. The end of each tube is fixed in the tube sheet. Tube provide the heat transfer area for heat exchange. In this type of heat exchanger, one fluid flow through the tubes, while other fluid flows through the space created between tube and shell. Hence the heat is transfer from the hot fluid to cold fluid through the metal wall. The shell and tube heat exchanger is the type of heat exchanger. That is the most commonly used in the chemical industry. So, that's all about the classification of the heat exchanger. Let's recall this classification. There are again many more heat exchanger. But these are basic and most commonly used heat exchanger. If you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel.